So we want to find the length of the indicated curve from y equals 2 thirds quantity x squared plus 1 raised to 3 halves between 1 and 2. So first thing we need to do is just find the derivative. So y prime is going to be equal to, so 3 halves, 3 over 2. So that just becomes um, Two x using the chain rule, and then this times this cancels out, and we're just left with x squared plus one raised to the one half. All right, so we're using this equation: uh, one plus f prime of x quantity squared. All right, so what's going to happen here is um, is we're going to integrate this from 1 to 2. So we're going to have the integral. So basically from 1 to 2, it's going to be 1 plus quantity 2x times x squared plus 1 raised to 1 half squared. So this is a little bit easier. Um, what I would do is do 2x quantity squared. You can break it down like this. And then x squared plus 1 raised to 1 half. And then this thing squared. So this becomes 4x to the fourth. Um, actually, I take that back. I don't know why I put that there. So it should become, uh, well, 4x squared. And this cancels this out. And we end up with um, x squared plus 1. So, this, so we still got the 1 plus there. So we get 1 plus 4x raised to the fourth. And then um, plus. 4x squared, and then all this raised to 1 half, and then dx from 1 to 2. Sorry, that's a little bit messy, but that's the best way to integrate this. It'll make it a lot easier. So if we integrate this, um, oh, hey, I just noticed something. So actually, this is the equivalent of this. So these cancel out, and we're simply left with 1 to 2, 2x two squared plus 1. So that makes it much, much easier to integrate. So if we integrate this, this ends up being equal to 2 thirds x cubed plus x, and we're going from 1 to 2. So starting off here. And ultimately, what this ends up being is 17 over 3, approximately 5.7. Okay, and that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.